Godsend short moon view. When a couple lose their eight-year-old son, they are approached by a geneticist who promises he can clone their their boy. They will still have to, she will still have to carry the kid to term and excuse me, they will yeah, they will raise the, the clone. Excuse me, as you know, they, he, he doesn't grow at an exponential rate, even you know, at an accelerated rate at all, even before you know, leading up to his eighth birthday. But when he does turn eight, something strange is happen starts happening. He has these nightmares that they can't explain. He's had a happy childhood, so why does he suddenly have these truly awful? you know, genuine like night terrors where he seems like they they can't get him to wake back up and this kind of thing. This movie is supposedly exploring cloning, but it just the actual explanation for why things are going wrong is so out of left field and it's it's so easy to avoid in real life. And ultimately it this does boil down to just reactionary sci-fi crying out that you know this new technology is scary and as awful as that is in and of itself it's really utterly it's it's not something that should be tolerated something that should be criticized thoroughly when it's something as potentially beneficial as cloning and just the the film is a mess all around. It's incredibly implausible. The characters' actions rarely make sense. It it's unbelievably slow. It's it's actually fairly short. It's it's 94 minutes, not counting the end credits, 98 width, but it feels so much longer. It's one reviewer notes that it's basically like one long vague warning of something bad happening and as good as the build-up can be there's the, the payoff is always unsatisfying the movie doesn't even have an ending technically it has five different ones four alternate ones which can be found in the on the DVD if you have the patience to sit through most of the same endings on and you know until you finally reach something that's new they even point this out on the commentary tracks getting increasingly annoyed to have to sit there and pretend like there's anything new to say about this same exact series of scenes that they talked about on the main commentary track as well. And none of the endings end anyway. They just, they did not know where to take this. From a technical standpoint, the movie's actually quite competently made, but Everything else is terrible. The writing, the acting, in spite of the talented cast. Robert De Niro is just waiting to, to receive his paycheck. He filmed all of his scenes in a week, and it shows. In spite of how much screen time he actually has, how many separate scenes he's actually in. And, yeah, the, the film also suffers from a refusal to use any visual effects, any CGI, a movie like The Ring has some effects. It's not, you know, drowning in them, but it needed, you know, just something more. It's it's a horror movie. You need to give us something that's it, especially in this kind of thing. Not all, you know, types of horror movies, but this one definitely did. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.